Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is a cracked MacBook Pro. This is a late 2013 MacBook Pro, and if I open it up here, what you'll see is the display is all kind of screwy, and if you look in this corner, and I push on the display, you'll see the LCD is cracked. The funny thing is, is the display is not cracked at all. The actual glass is intact. The problem is, is this is so difficult to change, you actually need to actually change this entire top piece. So it makes no sense just to try and delaminate the glass from the display because it's almost impossible to do without breaking it. So I'm going to power it off, just hold down the power button. It does work other than that. And in order to do these repairs, you're going to need this whole assembly. Now this is pretty expensive. It can be three, four hundred dollars. And the display I have is four hundred dollars and it's from iFixit. Now iFixit was nice enough to send this along to me. They did not sponsor the video, but they did send this and this should replace that part. So it's IF123-034-1. And in order to change this, you also need some special tools, which they were nice enough to send along. And this is their ProTech Toolkit. And I'll leave a link to all of this stuff in the description, but I always like to repair things. I hate to have broken things sitting around. And this is actually uh, a relative's uh, MacBook that actually was broken. So what I'll do is I'll flip it over and the first thing we need to do is take this apart. Now these, this uses special pentalobe screwdrivers, so I need my toolkit to have that special bit in order to do that. So within this toolkit, you open it up like this, and you've got just about everything you could want in order to do this job. So we take this off, and there's all sorts of bits in here, and I'll find the pentalobe bit, and then I'll use that to actually take this apart. So let's get started. Now keep in mind there's going to be a bunch of small parts, so I'll store them here. This is magnetic, and in here, just so I can keep track of them. Now that we have all the screws out, we can just jump, gently pop this up and we'll see the inside. Now you may want to take a moment to try and clean this if you need to, but you can see this is the internals of everything. And the next thing we need to do after we do that is probably disconnect the battery. And the battery is underneath here. So we just have to gently pull this up and we can disconnect the battery here. Now you can do it with your fingers if you're careful or you can just use a little spudger and pop it up. But right now it's disconnected. Let me clean all this out and then I'll be right back. So I've blown this out with compressed air. And one of the things you might notice about this is you can actually swap the solid state drive in this one. It's got a Samsung drive. So if you want to do that, you can do that. The next thing we need to do is remove this rubber fan bumper carefully. It just comes off like so. Now under the airport board right here, we need to disconnect three of these different cables. So we'll just pop the spudger under here and lift these out gently. Now this cable is for the camera and we need to actually carefully remove the cable from here. You carefully walk this out and now that one's disconnected. We then peel this cable right off the top of the fan gently. So just work it back slowly as not to rip it. Although these cables will probably be on the newer display as well. There we go. So those are all disconnected. Then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is to actually move over to this side and disconnect the display cable. So once you pop this up, you can kind of walk the cable out with your fingers back and forth and it just pops free. The next thing we need to remove is this. This covers the screws for the display. We have one on each side. There's one over here as well. We then have two very small T5 Torx that go right here that we're going to undo next. One on either side. Now these come off with this little tiny bracket, so make sure you've got that as well. The next thing we need to do is actually remove some of these outside screws. So we're going to do these outside ones here and over here. Now for this next part, they suggest we open the display at 90 degrees and set it on the table before we undo the final Torx screws that hold the display on. So we'll do those next. Thank you. 
Now that that's all unscrewed, I just wobble it free a little bit. And now we have the display free from the actual computer itself. So let me set this aside and we'll get the new one so we can put it on this. This is how the new display comes. It's all wrapped up. It looks brand new. It's in really nice shape. So we'll go ahead and make sure everything's the same before we go ahead and reattach it. But this should be the correct part model, part, part number for this model. Now I've got the display back in place. I'm just putting everything back how I had it before. The major connections are done. I'm just going to put the rubber gasket back in place. Then we'll put the battery connector back in place. And then I'll put the bottom on and see if it works. Let's flip it over and I'll power it back on and see what we have here. You'll see there's the apple and we're good to go. We'll take the tape off here and that's how you repair a MacBook Pro display. It's pretty straightforward. You do have to be a little bit careful and everything seemed to turn out okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, a big thanks to iFixit for sending along the display and the tools to change this out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.